Hello everyone and welcome back to KB Ants. Uh, this is a Lassius Flavus Care video and yet again this video is in association with antlady.co.uk. Um, I've been looking forward to doing this video. It's a great species and as you can see in the footage it's an amazing colony which I, I got from the Ant Lady herself. Um, I'll start off with the basic key facts to be able to keep Lassius Flavus and, and the key um, information uh, to know about them. Um, so the queen is 8mm uh, black with yellow legs and um, slightly yellow on the abdomen. Um, the workers are 2 to 4 millimeters and yellow to dark orange colour. Um, it mainly depends on the age of the ant, they tend to get darker as they get older. Um, nutrition wise they seem to love the sugars so honey water sugar water um, little pieces of fruit when they get to a big colony um, and small dead, in, dead insects um, like fruit flies they also seem to enjoy cooked ham cooked chicken um, this species they don't seem to uh, take a lot of protein in but um, just be sure that they have protein um, because they do take it in but only in small amounts. This colony here will probably take a lot in just because as you can see there's a hell of a lot of um, brood that they've got. Um, temperature wise um, 18 to 26 but room temperature is perfect. Um, so yeah they're easy in that sense. Um, they hibernate during the winter from later October to later March. Um, humidity requirements are 40 to 50 percent and these time scale um, overall time from egg to adult ant is uh, 10 to 12 weeks um, and then egg to larvae is 12 to 24 days larvae to pupae is 12 to 24 days pupae to adult is 14 to 28 days um, and the queen's lifespan is approximately 10 to 20 years, all depending on whether you hibernate them. That's why it's important to hibernate your ants because it gives the queen that break that she needs. Um, if you don't hibernate them, it will reduce the lifespan slightly. Um, so now I'll go on to just the basic all around information on them. Now you've got the key information to be able to keep them. I'll just tell you a little bit about the species. Um, so yeah, Lassius flower spend most of the time on the ground. Um, they prefer not to move out in the, in the open, visible to the sun and predators, so they just spend most of the time in the nest. Um, they're well adapted to life on the ground, um, and on the ground they um, hunt small insects, um, and they uh, tend to aphids that live off the roots of the plants and when um, the plants start to die they will pick up the aphids and move them to um, new plants that are thriving that they can feed off of and they also protect the aphids um, in return for a sugary secretion that the aphids give off um, which the ants go mad for. Um, distribution wise they found um, throughout the world um, from the northern parts of Africa and in the, uh, the south to northern parts of Europe. They're also found across Asia. Um, it's one of the most common, um, well, one of Europe's most common ant species alongside with uh, Lassius niger, the sister species of Lassius flavus. Um, Lassius flavus are uh, easy to keep. Um, it can grow quickly in numbers uh, with the right care, especially with several queens present. Um, they only need a small outworld as uh, they spend most of the time in the nest, so that's another bonus really. You don't have to keep upgrading the outworld. Um, if anything, you'll only have to upgrade the nest. Um, but yeah, in regards to multiple queens, the Lassius flavus are primarily uh, monogene but the, in the wild sometimes they can be found with multiple queens but if for the um, queens to uh, stay in the nest they need to be separated apart because if the queens see each other they will fight um, 
if you want to keep multiple queen flavors colony it's probably better to stay at like two queens if you get any more than that then there's more chance of the queens meeting in the nest and fighting to the death um, so yeah you don't want that to happen um, if you've got a two queen colony um, it's easier to keep the queen separated um, but yeah if, if you keep them in a small nest eventually they'll just fight until there's only one queen left so it is it's a tricky situation people say the polygenus people say the monogene so um, that's just my opinion and from my experience I'd say you'd be okay as long as the queens are kept separately um, if they do meet then chances are they'll, they'll be fighting in the nest um, from the start from a, like a finding um, situation they can be close together and they will get along but when they start getting get to a big colony that's when the queens want their own space um, and then that's how they, they do survive in the wild obviously they've got plenty of space the, um, the queens can stay very you know well apart um, so it's not a problem in that case so i hope you like this video um, i hope you like the footage as well this species is, is amazing and um, this colony is amazing so happy with it so i'll leave you with the rest of this footage um, it should go on to a, another video um, so yeah if you do like this uh, video please remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all my new videos um, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.